the role of the dental profession in detection and prevention of oral cancer. The total prevention of cancer before its occurrence is nearly impossible. Prevention lies in early detection and the use of control me methods to prevent mutilation of tissues and metastasis of the disease, providing a greater chance for survival and complete cure for the patient. It's important for the health professionals to develop awareness for the high degree of variability in the appearance of oral cancer. Some appear as ulcers, others are as red or white areas, a lump or fissuring. Most of these tumors are squamous cell carcinomas. They may include the lips, tongue, and the floor of the mouth, the palate, uh, the gingival, and the alveolar mucosa. So the role of the dental professional in the reduction of the oral cancer is the health education advices and early detection and the refer reference to of the patient to the specialist. In the health education advices, the predisposing factors must be recognized, such as ill-fitting dentures, broken teeth, excessive use of tobacco and alcohol, etc. And the poor diet, diet high in fat, particularly unsaturated fatty acids, low intake of vitamins such as vitamin A and vitamin C, and spicy food, repeated, repeated boiling of, of oil, systemic diseases such as Burkitt's lymphomas, AIDS, and leukemia, excessive exposure to sunlight, mm, it increases the, um, the risk of lip cancer, early detection, any chronic lesion or ulcer in the mouth should not be neglected. Do not apply any local drug or medication and caustics, especially on, uh, to an ulcer. In case of suspecting a lesion, consult a physician. Observe the lesion over a period of time to detect any changes in size or character. The dentist can apply simple tests or provide cytology. So what is oral exfoliative cytology? It's the study of normal and abnormal disclimated cells of the oral cavity. Cells scrapped from surface or aspired from natural fluid and examined after special staining. The Toledine Blue Test. Toledine Blue is an acetophilic metachromic nuclear stain that has an affinity for areas of carcinoma, and but not um, but not for normal mucosa. Technique: The patient rinses his mouth with water and excess. Excess saliva is removed by suction. One percent acetic acid is applied to the mucosa with a with a cotton applicator, which is a mucolytic agent. One percent of toluidine blue dye is applied with a cotton applicator. The dye should cover the entire lesion and clinically normal margins. Excess toluidine blue is removed by rinsing the mouth with water. Positive lesion is stained blue while negative one doesn't retain the dye. Stained lesions should be biopsied. Negative stained tissues should be followed clinically for variable periods. Types of biopsies. Excisional, incisional, aspiration, punch, and explorations. Excisional biopsy is for small lesions. All lesions, all lesion is excised with a safe margin. Incisional biopsy is when only a part of the lesion is excised for a lesion of 0.5 cm in diameter or larger. Aspiration biopsy is for deep-seated lesions as salivary gland tumors and cystic lesions. Punch biopsy is to obtain small tissue specimen in, in inaccessible areas such as maxillary sinus. Biopsy by explorations is in case of deep lesions, especially in bone. A flab is raised and a portion of the lesion is obtained for pathological examination.